What are you doing, Jamie? I'm praying. Okay, that's good, but um, anything in particular? Well, we're about to open another snack crate, <laughs> and the, the we got last a snack date two, with snack crate. <laughs> yeah, the last two boxes have been a go. little rough. You know, fish chips and fried egg chips and, oh, I'm nervous. So I thought I would do a little praying before we began. But, you know, <laughs> it's always an adventure. I like all that other stuff, so I don't know, I mean. Uh, yeah, you, you definitely liked it a little more than I did. Well, are you ready to see where you we're going to go? <laughs> it can't hurt. No, it can't hurt at all. <laughs> all right, guys. So we are going to... It looks like uh, Morocco. <gasps> Morocco. Very cool. So, before we dive into the snacks, we're going to read some fun facts. Oh, bedtime stories. Bedtime stories. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Green like tea, that. sweetened with sugar and mint leaves, also known as Berber whiskey, is the most popular beverage in Morocco. I bet you would like that. It's a tea, but they call it whiskey. It's it's yeah tea green tea sweetened with sugar and mint leaves also known as berber whiskey hmm that's one i i'd have that's to try different it's really yeah really odd that a tea would be a whiskey but it probably is good yeah is there any in here I, no, probably not <laughs> i'm just kidding and then last one we'll go through and then we're going to get to the snacks the traditional form of Moroccan housing, a riad, R-I-A-D, often boasts two or more stories and features a garden or courtyard in the middle. How neat. Well, we got a snack crate sticker in here, see. So Ooh. Peel this and stick it on something. Yes. So if you really like your snack if you crate be and you want to be branding with snack crate, yeah. there you go. All right, so. All right, so here's our little cheat sheet of everything in the box. So, I don't know, I'm not seeing any fishiness or anything like that, so I'm hopeful. Leader chips. Leader chips? All right, let's see. Yeah. Leader chips, where are you? Kebab? <laughs> Leader chips. Setting the standard for all other savory snacks, these potato chips have a unique crunch that will keep you coming back for more. We'll include either kebab or cheese and onion flavor. What flavor is that one? Kebab. I always thought that whatever you stuck on there. So is that like a meat kebab? I don't know. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. It can't be any worse than fried egg. That was gross. That was terrible. <laughs> Even for me. That was terrible. Does it smell weird? Uh, Why are you? I don't know. That's not. Kebab. What is this? <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe they don't do barbecue there. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand the chips that are supposed to be these weird flavors. This has maybe that's their version of barbecue. Sort of a you know? smoky, right? Doesn't it have like a smoky meat flavor? Yeah, like over the flame kind of. Uh huh. Flavor. Are you still eating that one chip? Mm hmm. <laughs> it was pretty big. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> I have a little mouth, don't you know? Excuse me? Did you just call me a big mouth? 
No, well, you think I have a big mouth, but, you know, I'm not feeling those. Not as bad, bad as egg or fish. You're still eating them? Why not? Oh, why? Mm. No, bad. thank you. Tonicos? These crunchy cone-shaped corn snacks are coated generously with a savory dusting of cheesy goodness. This I think I will like. It almost sounds like a bugle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yep. I wanted to call it a tornado, but bugles are right. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is some really tough plastic. Are they coven proof? Oh, there yeah. you got it. I want to call it plastic, but it's really foil. But... These are cheese flavored, so. Oh my gosh, they look exactly like a bugle. Exactly. Could be. Okay. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> I could eat that whole bag. No problem. Thank you very much. Mmm. <laughs> Her prayers have been answered. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> yes. Very good. We will save some of those for sure for later. Mmm. You can eat the kebab chips since you seem to enjoy them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so. What is that one? This looks like a cream this chocolate one? thing. Gen Genova? Genova? Uh huh. A, tro a chocolate dream come true. Rich, spongy layers of chocolate cake with an ooey gooey filling of smooth chocolate ganache. Oh. What is ganache? Like a cream, right? How would you know? Cause Did what you heck? Go to Morocco? No, it, in Epcot, yes. I have been to Morocco oh. in Epcot. You can go anywhere, I would, anywhere to make one, Jamie. I would love to go to Morocco <laughs> for oh, real. Man. Ooh, look at this, you guys. It, yeah, it's very. It's very, like. yeah. Yeah, let me try see. Try not to I get that get everywhere. What? That's what I'm trying. I know. Oh. Ooh. It's like a hostess cake. Not quite. There, there you go. go. Just a little. It's going to fall apart on you. Oh my gosh. Careful. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me open this guy mm. here. There we go. Mm. It's good. It's um dry. Right? Mm. Like. Well, the cake part is mm -hmm. a little dry, but the chocolate is rich. Because mm -hmm. so, it, it's a dark chocolate. It's good. Yeah. I can feel my sugar level increase. <laughs> yeah. So now we have... Oh, another one. Is that Excello? Is that that one? Excello? That's not what it says on the... Yeah, it's an Excello product. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Sandwichy. Sandwichy. Excello Sandwichy. The perfect on-the-go snack, this delicious treat features two sponge cakes sandwiched together by a layer of rich milk chocolate. So the other one that we just had was dark chocolate. So this one's milk chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't look like there's any fish in here, so I think eh. you're okay. <laughs> Out here. Oh man, this wrapper is giving me a hard time. Let's peel her down the underbelly. There you go. There you go. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. It's like a big. That's. Wow, it's very soft. Too. Wow, okay. Let me get you a piece off. Right Thank here. you. There you go. Ooh. That looks delicious. Now we'll find out. Oh, mm-hmm. I like that one better. Want that piece? Mm-mm. That is good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is good. Oh. I like dark chocolate, but mm. in that form, I like that milk chocolate one better. Well, okay, so mm. this one, the whisk. The whist? 
the list. Yes, it's by Lekas. <laughs> I think that's like. I don't. Oh, here we go. Black. <laughs> Blackus Dwist. Delicious vanilla cookies sandwiched to smooth layers of sweet cream. What could possibly be better? Mm. I don't know what could be better. So this is like a cook sandwich cookie kind of thing? Um, it says down here, Gout Vanilli. Oh, so it's vanilla cream. Above it looks like biscuit flory. Yeah, so <laughs> oh. like a little cookie sandwich, I'm Whatever assuming. I don't know if I'm saying hmm. it right. Oh, it's a little crumbly. Oh, oh boy. Uh oh. I'm about to help myself first. Look at him. Nom, nom, nom. There you go. Yep. Oh, it's almost, it looks kind of like a Ritz cracker, sort of. You know, it has a little... It tastes like Ritz a little bit, but the filling in the middle sets it off way different. Mm-hmm. This is good. This one is the Petite Henry Surfin. Surfin. These... Pleasantly plain biscuits have delightful crunch and go great with a steamy cup of tea or coffee. Hmm. See, we need to have tea. The whole world loves it. No, well, the whole world might, but I don't. I am not a tea drinker or a coffee drinker for that matter. No, tell me, I, I don't know. You don't drink tea? Mm -mm. Hot or cold? No, you no. Not against tea. Tea is not for me. I'm kidding. Tea is not for me. <laughs> no. Tell like us in the lot. comments below, are you a tea drinker or a coffee drinker for that matter? You know, I love the smell of coffee, but I do not enjoy the taste of coffee. Coffee's delicious. Yeah. More for you. Oh my gosh, there's not enough in this world. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably get a cramp from all yeah. the caffeine. <laughs> All right. These look like little broken crackers because they're not supposed to be broken, but you know, kind of come in transit yeah. from Morocco. So yeah, they they're very. What do they call these? Pleasantly plain. Wow, that is very plain. But pleasant. I wonder if you're supposed to like scoop up. Some they stuff. legit have no taste. None. That's why you need the coffee or tea to dunk these things. I was thinking more like, I don't know, like some kind of like a sardine mix or a... Sardine? mix or, or like a... With yeah. a sweet cookie? Why not? You are so weird. I don't know. A sweet... Okay. Again, guys, in the comments, would you put sardines or... Why not? But on on like sweet on cookies. A cracker. Yeah, I, I would. All right. Are you done with your pleasantly plain? Yeah, it's just pleasant. Biscuits. So pleasant. Oh, not that it was really <laughs> bad, but it's just it. To me, it tasted like a stale animal cracker. Okay, or... this one's by Excel. It's Biggie Chalk. Biggie Duo Chalk. Double the chocolate, double the fun. This inviting snack highlights layer of dark chocolate cream between crisp vanilla wafers. I can't wait to have fun. Ooh. Double the fun? Double the fun, Kevin. Wow. Yes. Right at we gone time. from pleasantly Please. plain to double the fun. <laughs> All right. Wow. Are you ready? Don't, don't like get too excited now. Well. It's double the fun. Control yourself over there. Oh, I don't. Wow, this is very dark chocolatey. Well, that's what they dark. said. So, yeah. Ooh, and <laughs> gooey. Hmm. 
That's very good. Almost. I think because of the dark chocolate, it almost has a coffee flavor. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I like it a lot. Mm hmm If you guys like tiramisu, that to me is what that tastes like. Hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Is this tabingo? Tabingo? Tab too big o. <laughs> and underneath it is like high pyramid. A pyramid o. o. <laughs> <laughs> too oh. big o and pyramid o. Drawing inspiration from the neighbors to the far east, these pyramid shaped wafers are packed to the max with rich chocolatey cream. Every bite will send you to cocoa, <laughs> to a cocoa-filled afterlife. It's gonna kill us. I, I'm afraid to open it. <laughs> hmm, a cocoa-filled afterlife. So we went from pleasantly plain to double the fun, and now we're going to a cocoa-filled afterlife. Um. Just See the transition of our journey? Be, yeah, but you know, I, I, I just, I would rather be late for my funeral than early. Mm. Agreed. Uh, terrible joke. <laughs> terrible joke. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Okay, mm. so I'm noticing they do a lot of dark chocolate with yeah. Morocco. Oh, it must be heaven over there. Look at that. Wow. That's a big bar. So it's another wafer. Another wafer style. Can you break that? Maybe? Okay, nope. or not. <laughs> there you go. That's a little smaller for my dainty mouth. <laughs> what? Well, Mm -hmm. I'm not too crazy about this one. Hmm. I'm not crazy about this one. It's good, but it's not great. I like this one better than the last one. You trying to start a fight? No, it's just more for me and more for you. You win! Oh! <laughs> 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 I like that. They have good chocolate in Morocco. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm not crazy about this bar. Well, I don't care what you say. <laughs> Perfect for a hot day. These crispy vanilla wafer sandwiches are filled with a nutty hazelnut spread. Oh, I like hazelnut. You do? I do. Well. I'm noticing that a lot of their chocolate, though, is like wafers. Like, oh, my. oh, that looks divine. What? Is it like a cigar? What are you doing? I'm being funny. You're sniffing it? <laughs> ah, so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, you take it out of the package, you smell like mm -hmm. cigar. Mm. Hey, you know what I like? This is good. Well, what's left of the box is Flash Watermelon Gum. Oh, so that's our last one? Yeah. Okay. So, originating in Casablanca, circa 1959, Flash Chewing Gum. Yeah has been a staple in Moroccan society ever since. We've provided our favorite fruity, tangy flavor variety. Hmm. Oh, wow, I just opened the foil, or the wrapper, you know, the- Yeah, the plastic. Foil, but yeah. yeah, and you could just smell the watermelon. The watermelon? It's so strong. Well, I love watermelon flavored gum. You could, you could taste it just by smelling it. It's, it's going to be deliciously sweet. Is it like hubba bubba or one of those type of things? It's a stick gum. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's like a, yeah. like a pack, you know. 
And then, ah, uh, here you go, Jamie. Hmm. It's kind of nice because then. Whoa! Talk about you're not kidding, yeah, Kevin. It's gonna. It's probably gonna scent your pocket, but they have this nice little bendy uh, clasp for the. Uh, gum pack so you can carry it like that and you can smell it hey what's that smell that's my gum would you like a stick yeah icebreaker you know the chicks will probably dig it you know if you're a guy that doesn't get a lot of attention and oh my gosh you just walk past a beautiful female like, what's that? and then you just whip out your pack like, <laughs> you don't have to ask her for a light because it's gum right and then Ladies, it's funny though. For you know, it, it'll probably keep her quiet for a little while. Hey, you know, ladies love to talk, so it's kind yeah. of like a nice way of. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Let's, I'm kidding. Let's. <laughs> let's see. The ladies like to talk. I've been quietly sitting here chewing my delicious gum. That's the idea. <laughs> but honestly. <laughs> For as strong as the scent is, it's not like crazy watermelon. What do you think? Well, it's got a dainty flavor. Yeah, but I felt like with the... It's good, though. I felt, though, with the scent of it being so strong that the taste would be stronger. Yeah. But, but I like it. Apparently not. Mm -mm. But it's good. It is good. Well, Morocco, you were the answer to my prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for not giving me fish chips or anything fish related or any egg flavored anything. That was pretty odd. And you've restored my faith in snack crate. <laughs> so, and she got a free sticker too. And right? I got a sticker. Yeah. Mm hmm. That was very nice. So guys, tell us in the comments below, what did you think about this box? Would you want to try the Morocco snack crate? So Kevin, what was your favorite snack? Oh, that flavor doesn't of this. last long. No, it doesn't. It's like already gone. Mm -hmm. So it's clearly not the gum. Well, it smells mm. delicious though. So what's your favorite snack? Um. I know what mine is. I like the one that tastes like, um... Can you guys guess what mine is? I think it's the, uh, this one here. The... The Biggie the Chalk. The Biggie Chalk. Okay. Oh, mine... Wow. ...was definitely those cheddar, like, bugle-looking deals. That's what she likes. Right there. I like these so much. So, so much. Some kebab chips. Kanikos. <laughs> no. If anybody would like to try some kebab chips, we'll be glad to ship them to you. No, nah, she's kidding. They're already <laughs> open, Jamie. <laughs> Maybe the staleness will help the flavor. I don't know. They're pretty bad. No, Jamie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat these. Well, they are I'll be all the brave one. yours. I'll be the brave one. All right, guys. Well... <laughs> We are so glad that you have joined us on another Snack Crate adventure. Make sure to click on that subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss a future video. Where's the... What? The button. I'm trying to find it. I don't want to miss a video. Well, yeah. It's right there, Kevin. Yes. Okay. And we'll see you guys real soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>